Chepe, uh, congratulations on the victory. Uh, we see the ice pack on your shin right now. So physically, how are you feeling after that fight? I'm uh, still numb, you know, still in the, um, you know, got that rush still. Um, feel good, though. You know, I, I got a scratch in my eye. Uh, that's why I obviously got the sunglasses on. But, yeah, man, I feel good. Uh, I'm glad I got the victory and I'm just ready to continue on. Can you explain exactly what happened from your perspective in there at the end? Because when we were watching, we was very clearly when his arm kind of snapped and you when you rolled up on top of it, that was that was it. Did you know that he injured his arm in the moment? Uh, I didn't. You know, even though I, I kind of like heard a pop, you know, sometimes I, I you know, in training, you hear those kind of things and you just got to continue on. But I um, I heard a pop and I went to readjust and he kept saying my arm, my arm. And that's when, you know, I can't stop. When he's, you know, saying it, I have to stop when the ref tells me to stop. Up until that point, how did you think the fight was playing out? Were you confident, like, if it had reached the judges that you would have been the winner? Uh, no, the, the first round was definitely iffy, especially, you know, like, um, you know, I had to get used to the booze and everything else around me. So I just felt like the first round I had to, like, see what he had. Uh, I heard uh grunting and his frustration try so i thought he was trying to like he thought he could take me out early or take out my leg early um he obviously had some good leg kicks i checked i don't know if i checked any to be honest but <laughs> like uh i just felt like i threw some of my kicks and i felt you know like uh, i just i gotta get the job done well you mentioned the booze after the fight though you seemed to kind of relish in it um so what was it like fighting here in hostile territory Man, I, I feed off of that stuff, man. I, it, it's it's kind of my thing, you know. It's, you know, I'm living the dream. You know, this is a dream I had since I was small. And, uh, you know, no boo is going to keep me from uh, what, I, what I'm chasing and what I want to be, um, really accomplish in this career. We couldn't quite hear your interview backstage here because we were speaking to people. Uh, it seems like you wanted to focus a little bit on your nutrition uh, before your next fight. What exactly did you mean? Yeah, man, just uh, just to, so I could see if I could play around at the bantamweight division. You know, uh, you know, make some moves. This, you know, I got. I'm finally in in the UFC. I'm 30 years old. I, I want to see what kind of chances I could take. You know, if I could be, you know, a bantamweight fighter or just stick at featherweight and you know, take a title there and see, you know, different opportunities. Do you feel like you're naturally a bantamweight? Uh, not really, man. I, I got some dense bones and, uh, you know, I, I just feel like, you know, science, man. There's, there's like a lot of science to it. So I feel like um, if science doesn't let me go to bantamweight, but they say, hey, man, we could make you solid at featherweight, then shit, let's go, you know? So then moving forward, what do you want the rest of your year to look like? And how do you want your career moving forward to look like? Well, I, I definitely want to keep the, uh, climbing the ladder. You know, there's obviously a lot of a lot of names I got to go through so I could be in the top 10 or, to you know, challenge for the title. So I obviously got to chop some dudes down and, you know, get get my way there. Uh, cool. Chef, what's up, Oh, uh, what's up? All right, bro. Um, did, do you feel disrespected at all heading into this fight, considering, you know, a lot of people are very high on Jack? Um, did you feel like you, you didn't get the, the notoriety or, you know, what you should have got for this fight? Uh, man, it, it's it's whatever the crowd wants to do, you know. Obviously, they're going to cheer on their guy. No hate, no disrespect, you know. They're going to do what they want, you know. Like, end of the day, I know, you know, I'm going to get those boos, but when I'm leaving the, the octagon, I got my hand raised, you know. I get to, you know... Um, walk away with that and you know i don't gotta take those boos home yeah definitely um last one for me is um you know jack was on a nine fight win streak and now you obviously you're on a five fight win streak um and he had a lot of momentum heading into this fight um do you feel like you've kind of stolen a bit of that momentum and are you looking to ride that that momentum out now yeah man it, uh, definitely you know um i'm obviously getting used to everything else around you know i'm finding the ufc i'm two and on the ufc and i just want to keep writing writing that out and uh you know, continue on my wins and make it to the top. And Chef, just over here, you, you know, discussed potentially a move to bantamweight, but Gabriel Miranda got a very dominant victory tonight over Shane Young. Would that be a matchup that could potentially interest you? Another matchup with a highly touted prospect? Yeah, yeah, man. It, it's, uh, I have to obviously negotiate with my corners, you know, my management team, you know, see what's the right moves for me. You know, I obviously... I did a 10 days notice fight at lightweight for the, for the UFC. Um, I said yes to, you know, um, a guy who's, I'm going to enemy territory. You know, I'm, I'm doing the things I got to do to work my way up. You know, I'm not taking, I'm not trying to take no easy fights, but I'm trying to make the right decisions to get me to the top.
And last one for me, you just said it, you were coming into enemy territory. Did you feel that you needed a finish tonight given how inconsistent judging can be in MMA? Yeah, for sure, man. I, I, I obviously, I, I do not like leaving it to the judges. It's not, you know, I've learned from the past that, you know, uh, you could do whatever you want. You could, you know, you know, you, deep down you're winning three, all three rounds, but the judges can, you know, take it away from you like that. Thank you.